Hi, my name is Charlie Henson Reed. I'm the design and manufacturing engineer for Janus Motorcycles, and today we're going to take a look at the brand new Griffin 450 concept bike. One of the exciting things that we're working on now is uh, getting the Griffin 450 into production. So this is kind of the first step along the way, coming up with a uh, uh, rough slap together bike as quick as we can so we can start forming some opinions on the the features that we're going for. So this idea uh, it's always kind of been in the works designing the Halcyon 450. We designed the mainframe which you'll recognize from the Halcyon 450 uh, to work for the Griffin 450 and the Phoenix 450. So we've always kind of had an eye towards building this bike but this is the the first real go at it. So uh, some of the design features that we really wanted to incorporate that are different from the Griffin 250 is obviously the 450cc single engine from SWM that uh, our 450 Halcyon has. Increasing shock travel, suspension travel, front and back, going with a more dirt bike style wheel, so having a 17 inch rim in the back and a 21 inch rim in the front, and increasing our fuel tank capacity a little bit. There were also some tweaks that we wanted to change going to the Griffin 450 from the Halcyon 450. So. Uh, some ease of use things like uh, sight glass on the oil tank, side stand upgrade. So this is a project that I worked on kind of in secret uh, for a couple months. I got the rough design for the concept bike all knocked out pretty much on my own time. And then we put this together in five weeks, uh, just doing a rapid concept bike build. So um, this is a really good showcase of what our, our design space and design team fabrication space can do. Five weeks to put together a, a totally new concept bike compared to the year it took us for the Halcyon 450. So we're, we're really speeding up for that kind of thing. The design of this bike, I really wanted to focus on uh, applying the lessons I learned in Colorado on the Halcyon 450 to a new motorcycle. So the huge things that I really wanna focus on for this bike is to have it be a, a approachable, easy to get on, confidence inspiring off-road bike so that anybody can sit on it and be flat footed and have it be lightweight and the power is nice smooth delivery like the 450 engine does and those were the main things that, that I tried to stick to in design so keeping the seat height very low was something that I found very important from riding in Colorado having that Halcyon 450 the seat height so low and being able to just put your feet down when you get into something a little over your head is really confidence inspiring and I think is a, a fantastic thing for a scrambler adventure bike so the seat height on this currently I believe is at 31 inches just a hair higher than the Halcyon 450, but that's pretty low for an adventure bike or a scrambler. Even Kelly can <laughs> flat foot this bike uh, almost. The weight of this bike is also going to be similar, perhaps just a slight bit more than the Halcyon 450. So I'm guessing it'll come in somewhere at uh, 360 pounds. The suspension travel currently right now is four and a half inches in the rear and three and a half inches in the front. Uh, that is definitely going to change. I think probably by the end we'll get to five and a half in the rear and maybe five and a half in the front. Uh, those are the goals. So having that kind of travel and a low seat height is pretty tricky, but uh, making it work. So some of the changes that are going to happen in the next couple months as we refine this. This subframe here is one of the, the new major components. Uh, so if you're familiar with the Halcyon 450, it's pretty different from what's there. The springs are gone and everything, and that's where the shocks mount. And some, a lot of this geometry is going to change to increase the, the travel in the rear. So uh, part of the goal also already, one of the things I've noticed is we need to get these exhausts tucked in just a little farther. So that's gonna be one of the major changes too, changing the way the the mufflers are shaped a little bit at the front and getting those shocks moved in just a little bit further so those exhausts can be tucked in. Really though, we don't have much testing on this bike yet and uh, the real purpose of it, the goal of it is that we can put miles on it and ride off-road with it and develop opinions about this sort of stuff. So is the travel enough? We don't really know until we, we ride it and <laughs> find out. It's for sure exploratory. Um, we're recording this uh, right at the end of January and at this time, the bike's only been together, running for four days or something like that, and uh, in the middle of a cold snap. So the day it was finished, I rode it around in five degree weather with slush and salt on the roads and six, six inches of fresh snow from the night before. And that's why it's so filthy. Uh, but that's the only riding that's really happened on it yet so far. So really needing to test that out. And we've got a couple events coming up here in the next few weeks that uh, we're gonna take advantage of and get this bike out 
in front of some people to look at and on some actual trails. Uh, it's a little hard in uh, northern Indiana in the middle of winter, January, so. <laughs> but uh, work is being done on it, yep. Coincidentally, taking photos of this the day it was finished last week, uh, we realized that the completion of this concept bike to a riding level was almost exactly three years apart from when the first Halcyon 450 concept bike was finished to a riding level. So like neat little parallel there. And thinking back on how that process went versus how this process went, it's exciting for me because it, I think it really shows off how much we've grown as a company in the last three years. So it was a lot less stressful, less hassle. <laughs> it's all the equipment and the space and the setup we have to do this kind of rapid prototyping has really improved. And that's just a super fun thing to see. Because we're working around the framework that the Halcyon 450 set up, so having the mainframe and most of the front suspension be the same, uh, there were some tight choke points that have been a problem and I foresee being a problem. One of which is the exhaust. It's a pretty tricky thing to get both of those tubes wrapped around the engine and, and up on one side for the high side. The oil tank is also uh, really crammed in there. I've talked about before on the Halcyon how this area of the bike is the most parts dense and has the most moving stuff going on. With this, there's, with this bike, there's less moving stuff going on there, but it's still very parts dense. So getting a oil tank crammed underneath the seat there has been a bit of a challenge. We're also going to struggle a little bit uh, working on that suspension geometry changes, getting more travel out of the front and the rear. But that's really just gonna take a lot of trial and error, a lot of messing around, doing a change, putting new shocks on, riding the bike and seeing how it feels. One of the things that I'd like to solve with the, all of our 450 side stands is, is beefing them up a little bit, having that be smoother and long, longer lasting. So this is a prototype I machined totally up out of uh, stainless steel. And I think it's, uh, it's close to the direction we're gonna, we're gonna go for the side stand for this bike. The swing arm for this bike too is also pretty spectacular. The support underneath here is asymmetric and the chain passes through it. It's very much so overbuilt, but we'll start with that overbuilt, over stiff over heavy swing arm for the concept bike and pair it back a little bit for the actual production version. The exhausts are pretty special too. I really love the, uh, the crossover tubes here. One very nice thing about having high pipes on the side, on the same side, is that they no longer have to come apart separately. So the connector tube down here doesn't have a flange and a gasket with bolts like it does on the Halcyon 450. And that really simplifies a lot as far as installation and keeping track of parts and keeping exhaust leaks from happening. Already, it's a lot of fun. Uh, that day with eight inches of snow, I was riding all around the parking lot through snow and up curbs and stuff. And with the 21 inch front wheel and the super aggressive knobby tires on it, it, it shreds. It's gonna be a fun bike to ride off road. I can't wait to take it on the trails. Well, I've been Charlie with Janus Motorcycles. Thanks for taking a look at uh, the brand new Griffin 450 prototype with me and uh, keep your eyes peeled for a production version.